Stable Android 16 is finally here with the final release of Nothing OS 4.0 for the Nothing Phone 3 and I'm really excited because we finally listened. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through what's new and some of the top new features in Nothing's biggest update this year. So I've been using Nothing OS ever since last year when I got my Nothing Phone 2A. I really love the approach to the software so much that I got the Nothing Phone 3A, the 3A Pro and now I'm using the flagship phone, the Nothing Phone 3. It's been really interesting to see how much Nothing OS has evolved from then up to now with the final release of Nothing OS 4.0. While there's much to appreciate in Nothing OS, many users have been advocating for a few key features and minor changes that would make it even better. To start off, many users had requested better lock screen clock options. With Nothing OS 3.5, we only had 6 clock options, and out of these, I only found 4 of them interesting. With the new Nothing OS 4.0, two new clock styles have been added, both of them carry a futuristic and geek forward aesthetic that complements Nothing's design language, and I particularly like the first one because it's so bold and quirky. And while we are still on the lock screen, the lock screen password page now displays the wallpaper with a blurring effect. Honestly, I really love this because it breaks the monotony of Nothing's fully opaque UI and keeps up with the transparency and blur that is now the focus of other user interfaces like Apple's Glass UI. Looking at the home screen and app drawer, you will also notice some welcome visual changes, starting with the app icons for first party apps, which are now more pleasant to look at in my opinion. Status bar icons have also been updated in Nothing OS 4.0 to create a more modern, balanced visual experience. Especially like the new design of the battery icon which is now horizontal and turns green when you're charging your phone. You can also notice that the status bar clock and date now have a thinner font and look cleaner than the previous version. The quick setting tiles have also been improved and you can now set 2x2 tiles for most settings. Previously, you could only do this for the Bluetooth toggle. And speaking of quick setting tiles, I'm glad that they've finally introduced quick Wi-Fi sharing, allowing you to quickly share your Wi-Fi from your quick settings instead of getting lost in the settings menu. Aside from these functional updates, the quick settings have also been improved visually and they now look cleaner than they did in previous versions of Nothing OS. Moving on, they've also fixed the animations on the home screen launcher. Opening and closing apps now feel smoother and more fluid than before. You will also notice that the home screen background scales in and out creating a depth effect. When it comes to widgets, Nothing has also redesigned their first party widgets, introducing more layouts for weather, screen time and pedometer. For the weather widget, for example, you can now use 1x1 and 2x1 layouts, allowing for more customization. As you can see on my home screen, I have separate weather widgets for weather conditions and the sunrise and sunset time. It generally looks neater. Another visual change is the introduction of a true black mode. What this means is that you can now set a pitch black background in the Nothing OS interface which deepens blacks, improves contrast and reduces power consumption across the system. This is a highly requested feature and I'm sure that many Nothing users will be happy with this. When you apply the extra dark mode, it is applied not only in most parts of the Nothing UI like the settings, notifications, app drawers and quick settings, but it also now works for most first party apps and they plan to do this with more apps in the future. Nothing has also made multitasking easier on Nothing OS 4.0 with a new pop-up view that now allows you to open two floating apps at once and switch between them easily. The new pop-up view also allows you to use YouTube while using another app, which usually requires a premium subscription. Nothing OS 4.0 also allows you to hide apps directly from the app drawer and home screen. This is a good feature, especially if you want to quickly hide your sensitive apps away from prying eyes. Inside the settings, you'll also notice that there's a new menu under applications called App Optimization. This new feature helps to keep your phone smooth and responsive by optimizing applications that are running in the background. Once you click the optimize button, it will take some time to analyze and optimize the system, after which you'll notice that your apps are launching faster and everything is running smoother. One of the most interesting features about Nothing OS 4.0 is the essential apps. Essential apps are custom widgets that can be built by anyone via AI through what they call the playground. How this works is that you log into the playground, describe what you want to create and AI will create it instantly. Through the playground, you can not only create your own apps, but you can also download and install apps that have been created by other Nothing users. 
once you download an essential app, you can deploy it as a widget on your home screen. So far, there are very interesting apps that have been created by the Nothing community. Honestly, I think that this is one of the coolest features of Nothing OS 4.0 and shows their commitment to involving their community and encouraging their users to express their creativity. Nothing OS 4.0 also introduces a brand new feature called the AI Usage Dashboard. This feature is located under the Intelligence Toolkit in the settings and it tracks every time an app or feature uses a language model and logs it as AI usage. Under the dashboard, you can track your daily or weekly AI activities and see which models you use actively. At the moment, I've noticed that this feature currently only works for the essential space, but I hope they integrate third-party apps like ChatGPT in the future because people tend to use them more often. Finally, Nothing OS 4.0 has really made some huge changes with the Glyph interface. Many Phone 3 users felt that they could not do much with the new Glyph matrix, and I'm glad that Nothing has really put some effort into making it more useful. To begin with, Glyph toys are now always on when you flip the phone and you have Flip to Glyph turned on. I've set the digital clock as my always on Glyph toy and I'm really finding it useful as it helps me keep track of the time when I'm working without having to unlock my phone, eliminating a lot of distractions. Aside from this, they've also added and improved some Glyph features, including Glyph Progress, which now taps into Android 16's live update feature to provide real-time visual activity updates from apps like Uber and Google Calendar. The Glyph Timer has also received a revamp, allowing you to visualize a timer via digital hourglass on the Glyph matrix. There are also new cool glyph toys, including one of my favorite, the moon face, which visualizes the moon's face and position based on your current location. If you want more glyph toys, the good news is that you can enable more of them from the collection of community-made toys on Nothing Playground, which can now be accessed through the Manage Glyph Toys button that is also new. While I still believe that Nothing can work on more useful glyph features for the glyph matrix, I'm excited to see that they've made the effort to introduce new toys as well as bring some of the glyph features from the other Nothing phones to the Nothing Phone 3's glyph matrix. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some of my top new features in the new Nothing OS 4.0 for the Nothing Phone 3. I would have really loved to see the introduction of the new advanced professional video codec which is supported in Android 16, as well as the log video recording which is now supported in most smartphones. I hope that they plan to add this in future updates. Let me know what you think of this new update from Nothing in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.